Hey everyone, welcome back to the Epic Squid Fishing Channel. I'm finally back out on the water on the kayak. The weather's just got a bit warmer. We actually had 29 degrees yesterday in October, which is ridiculous. So I'm out here today trying to catch a snapper, first one of the season hopefully, and maybe a couple gurned. Hopefully those spiny dogs are gone until next winter, and uh, let's get into it. All right, we haven't even had the baits in the water for five minutes and we're hooked up to something. I'm not sure what it is, but um, it's taking a bit of line actually. That's good. Could be a trev, very taily. Could be a kawai or a trev, I don't know. Other one's getting a hit now. That'll get hits and on soon. Oh, it's gonna, it's gonna go, it's gonna go off any second. Up tight. Oh. This fish is a pretty good one, whatever it is. What have we got? Oh, I knew it. I knew it was a trevally. First drop of the day into one. It's quite a nice fish too, actually. Nice. Yeah, he's way over legal. Plenty of meat on him. Get that in the sun. Nice trev about 35 or so maybe even towards 40 they have to be 25 these fish so he's well over and uh, let's get him in the bin because I haven't had any fish from the ocean in months well it's been a while and uh, we've only just started attracting some fish that burley's been working for a bit now just could see a couple on the sounder there just got a couple of taps on this and we're getting another tap again come back fish you're not I need to give him a bit of slack, maybe. Being a bit finicky this morning. Really only had one one bite, and that was a bang hookup, immediate. Oh, taking, 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 taking. Got him. Whatever it is. Oh, it's good fish. It's taking line. Oh, it might be another trev. I don't know. Taking line, taking line, shaking its head. That's, that's not snapper. That's a trev. That's a good one too, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's taking a good amount of line, this one. Get him off the bottom. Oh, the other one's getting hit now. Other one's on. Let's go fish this one. Whatever it is. What have we got? Oh, nice big trip. Nice big trip. Beautiful fish, that one. Really nice. Alright, we better get on to the other one. We've just attracted two. This one's nowhere near as big as the other one, I don't think. Yeah, just a little one. So we've got trevs that have turned up now. Spring trevs. It's not even legal, this one. There would have been a school of them. He's on the, in the burley, so that's good, that's working. Let me make a little scrap this fish actually. It's much, much bigger than the last one. Very nice fish. We'll get him bled and uh, on ice, then we can get on with it and try and get some other fish. We should get a little mixed bag today, I hope. Big school or something just came through. Ooh. Big whatever this is. Let's get the other one up. Well, uh, screenshot that, whatever it is. Get the other reel up. Okay, now we're good.
Who knows what this could be? It's coming up fairly easy now. What have we got? Don't be a shark. Car white. Big car white. Really big. It's a nice fish actually. Very nice. Big, big cowboy. Very good. Hooked up again. Not sure what this is. We'll put some line off so we don't lose it. Be another Trevally, to be honest. Could be anything, could be a Gurnard. Ah, we got a Gurnard. Ah, there we go. His target species. Jeez, he's gonna go on a run. It'd be quite a good one, too, I would, would say. Very nice, incredible. That's exactly what we're out here for. Spring makes them fat, and uh, once again, you look at that on the top of the, the mouth, that is armor plating, and that KLT hook's gone right through it. That is tough. Listen to that. It's like knocking on the door. We have a nice gurnard. You're coming home for dinner, buddy. On again. Be anything. Who knows what it could be this time? Could be a little snapper if we're lucky. We'll just pull them in nice and slow so we don't, uh, in case we have to release them, because we're in sort of a depth that will um, Oh, it is a snapper. That's the first one of the season. Awesome. First week of October is always what it is. Always. Always. The last four years have been uh, the first week of October. We'll be going back for sure, but. Ooh. And he's away. That's the first snapper for the season. Hooked up again. Let's get the hook in there this time. Maybe a snapper. Maybe a snapper. Doing the right thing. Maybe not. Not with those tail beats. Good, whatever it is. It's pulling pretty strong drag. It's straight up and down, though. Might be into a an, a triv day. Could be another Trevally for sure. And it looks like it is. This one will go back. I've got two already. Yeah. Here we go. Another nice. Another nice one. Another nice triv. Could have been what that last fish was as well. Couldn't quite tell though. Look at that. Don't splash the camera please. Oh, and you have. Alright, let's get this fish away. Nice and careful with him. Another net. That's my third Trevally for the day. I don't normally catch this many. There you go. Nice. And we're on. Bit of 
Bit of a slow period there. We've got another fish looking at the other one. Should soon hook up over there. If... Oh my god, look at the look at the wall of fish coming through now. What do we got? We have a gurnet here. But I'm not sure what that wall of fish is. We don't want to get the bait down again. Hello. Good fish on here. Very good fish, whatever it is. Oh, it's going. Let's get the hook into it. There it is. Hook's in. Let's get the other line up. Because this is going to be a good fish, whatever it is. Snapper. So it could be a kingfish actually. Could be a little kingy. Or a big trev. I'm just gonna let him take the line here, because it could be anything. Who knows what it could be? Could be a snapper. Hopefully. It's coming up, it's coming up. What's it doing? Over the show, this fish. It's going up, might be a car why. Big. It's the big one. He's off. That's all right. They're having some massive schools coming through on the sounder. Could have two fish on here. It's really heavy. Really heavy. Or it could be just a monster gurnard, which I think it might be. It's a really nice one. <sighs> Got birdie pot as well. Well, it's beginning to become a nice day now. That's another quality gurnard. Got his fins all up for us, and we're gonna keep him and keep going. <sighs> Who knows what? <sighs> heavy though, real heavy. I don't think it knows it's hooked yet. Big. Heavy. What is it? Might be a spiny. Could be still a few hanging about. Oh, two gurnard. Two massive gurnard. Oh, nice. Look at that. One's wrapped up. Goodness me. This doesn't happen too often. <laughs> Got two in there. Got a double lagoonid. Let's mop it out of the way. And we'll get this fish in. Whatever it is. Okay. What a session we're having. So good to have good numbers of nice fish to take home back. Those spinies were a menace this winter. So much so that I just entirely gave up. And, uh, okay, it's a bit smaller. Another one. I think we got another one. Yep. Be something good. Oh, hello. Hello. Woo! Look at the look at that run. Kingfish. Kingy. Listen to that. Gotta get this. Gotta get this in. Oh, could be a big snapper, eh? Could be a big snapper. 
Could be a big snapper. This is what these big snapper do, they, they piss out line. First run, it was probably 30 or 40 metres, maybe more, 50. Oh, it's, they have so much power on that first run. It's just screaming, screaming, screaming. We've got to be careful with this fish. We really want to get him in to see what he is. Who knows how big it's going to go back to the bottom. I don't want to get it to wrap up on the other line. So I'm going to pull that in while we can. Still got weight on him. Clear that line and I'll be much happier. Okay, we're clear on that line now. We're gonna start pulling this fish up. I want to pull it up nice and slowly just so I don't blow it. Because I really want to let it go if it's a big, big fish. It's gonna go back down again. This is kind of what I was out here for, looking for a, something like this. Still got him. Still got him. He's still really making it a pain for me. So he went right. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big snapper. It's a big snapper. I just saw the side of him. I don't know how big he's going to be, but I think he's going to be a beast. I th oh no. Oh, is it another? <laughs> this might be another 20, bro. Oh my god. Oh my goodness me. Oh, I couldn't fit him in. Couldn't fit him in first time. Get in there. Get in there this time. Yes! <laughs> Is massive. Ah, get in there. Okay, buddy, I need to get, get out of the net. Oh, big, big snapper. I don't know how big he is, but probably not quite 20, probably about 18 or so. I don't have scales on me, but um, stinky snapper. Hopefully, something releasable because there's not much room in that pod back there. That snapper takes up all of it. Oh, it's a beast gurnard. Oh, it's a really nice one. Look at the size of that thing. I am having a ball today. Once again, KLT through the top of the jaw. It's pretty unreal how sharp these hooks just go straight through there, and then they don't want to come out either. Get another bait back down. Very good. Right, so we've landed on the beach now. It was a simple landing. No pesky waves. We're gonna turtle me today. We have probably oh, 15 kilos at the back and fish alone. Um, now we gotta get the kayak up this pain in the ass of a hill with all the
this gear on it and extra fish weight so I'm going to have to take my time, take the pot off and cart it all up separately because I'm never getting it up there. It was a pain to get it down as well. The sand is just so soft. Well, she doesn't fit in the bin. Uh, I don't know how to estimate that one. Nine, maybe eight or nine kilo, I think. Plenty of fish in there though. You got that beast and you got all that goodness under there. Lots of gurnard, a couple of trevs and a carboy too. Awesome.